Budapest, Hungary is packed with co-working spaces. Today we'll visit some of Hungary's capital's co-working spaces to see what the digital nomad scene is like. I'll try to give you as much insight as possible, showing you the available packages as well as my experience. Whether you need to get some creative work done or simply want to spend some time outside, a co-working space is the right place for you. Today we'll have a look at several co-working spaces and the good thing is that they're all within walking distance from my apartment. Firstly, we'll have a look at Flux Workspace, which is literally just a one minute walk from my apartment. Secondly, we'll go to Commodore Coworking, then we'll go up to Secra Coworking, and once we're done there, We'll walk all the way to the inner city to have a look at Impact Hub Budapest to see what it's like. Impact Hub is one of the more well-known co-working spaces, not only in Budapest, but also in Europe. They have several locations throughout the entire continent, and I even think they have some locations in Asia as well. I think we're gonna have a great afternoon. Let's get started. There's supposed to be a co-working space right here. I looked it up on the map and it's the exact address where I'm located right now. But I'm right in front of this address and there's no co-working space, so I don't know. So let's go to the next one. Foosball table. Darts. Darts as well. <laughs> this is the red light room. I was told it's a telephone room, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Can we also bring live animals and kill them and then eat them? <laughs> Okay, I didn't check that. I was just like walking around, you know. Okay, okay. And the first two, they were like I said, they there was nothing, so it was like a fake listing. Oh. So I just left Zikra. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing this right. It's S Z I K R A co-working space, and I was talking to Vika, the girl there, and she was actually very friendly. She showed me around, and it's very inexpensive. It's only 800 foreign an hour and you need to purchase a minimum of 10 hours so we're looking at 8,000 foreign only which is really reasonable i believe and we ended up playing some foosball and initially she told me that she's not that good at foosball but actually turned out that she was good and i was surprised by that anyway the co-working space is open 8 a.m to 5 p.m monday through friday but you can get an access card to also access it 24 hours a day that's Monday through Sunday. You can come in even after staff left. It's not a problem. So I found that quite interesting because most co-working spaces, you know, after 5 p.m. you can't be in there, but at that one you can, which is really cool. So I'm definitely gonna go back on Monday and I'm gonna sign up for the 10 hour package, uh, get some work done and also play some more foosball because it was a lot of fun. Impact Hub Budapest was pretty much empty. I only saw three other people there that worked from there at this given time. And 
I talked to the lady and she said the reason why it's so empty is because a lot of people that live in Budapest, they're now on vacation, they go to like Croatia, maybe Serbia, maybe Spain, you know, they just go to other countries and then they come back again in September, October because they want to be on the ocean when it's warm. Makes sense, right? And then she also told me that the whole landscape changed with COVID. So fewer people work from the co-working space than before. And that makes sense as well. You know, people just don't prefer it as well. But one of the things about Impact Hub Budapest is that it's just bigger. You know, the, the rooms are bigger, the meeting rooms are bigger. You can host meetings of up to 50 people there if you want. And yeah, it, it's just a great deal. And if you want to give Impact Hub Budapest a try, you can sign up for the one day free trial. The lady sent me a link to my email address that I'm going to open up. I'm going to try it for a day. You can come anytime from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you can try it out for the whole day or just an hour or two hours if you want. And if you want to commit more hours to working there, you can get the daily pass, which currently runs at 4,900 foreign, which is about 13 euros, 14 euros, or about 16 US dollars right now. Of course, you can also purchase hours. It's 15,000 foreign for 20 hours, which comes down to about 50 bucks, right? So it's like $2.50 an hour. And if you go with the 20 hours, I think it's better if you want to come more often and spend less time at Impact Hub Budapest. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything I forgot to add or you want to share a personal experience of yours, then leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on alerts so you receive a notification when I upload the next video on nomadism, crypto or investing. Thank you for watching.